Hi YouTube, I'm going to share with you today a simple resource for sheet music. I'm talking about IMSLP. Those of you who know what IMSLP is, you don't need to watch this video. Uh, but I find a lot of people don't know what it is, so I want to share that. This is such a valuable resource if you're doing any music, anything with music really, especially classical music, then you need to know this resource. So. IMSLP.org is the website. IMSLP.org. If you go to IMSLP.org, let me show you how this works. Uh, here we go. IMSLP.org. This is the web main page. Then you go to scores, hit composers, and you're, you have an alphabetical thingy here. So let's say we're looking for Beethoven. See, we go under B and then B-E-E, -E. so that's going to be between these two, right? So we click on this one. And yeah, you can find, why is it not opening? <laughs> I have a problem with my browser here. Let me just, oh, because it's already open, that's why. All right, uh, so you just have to scroll down if you do that, see? You get the Beethoven from here, and here he is, Beethoven. You can find music from pretty much any composer that's dead on this website and you know looking at the list of composers this is just part of b it gives you an idea of just how many there are yeah there's more than 10 composers finally so here we go and then you know you can find let's see you're looking for whatever you know we'll just take a piano sonata number 11 or number 13 that's the moonlight Okay, once you click that, oh, it's not, but that's okay. It doesn't matter. You'll see at the top you have two sections, performances and then sheet music. We're going to be interested, I think, 99% of the time when you use this website, it's sheet music. Performances, these are MP3s. If you want to download MP3s and performances of the pieces, go ahead. Sheet music, the first one is usually is usually something like um, either a manuscript or a color copy of a manuscript or, or something like that, or a color copy of a score. Usually it's not the greatest. You see they have ratings. The ratings are rarely ever more than three stars. That's just the way it is. These are not the best editions, neither but they're okay yeah they're really okay and they may even be better than some of the bad editions so if you know i was looking for this beethoven uh, sonata in e flat major number 13 opus 27 number one uh, i would take i would not take this one i would try this one or this bright cough and heritel is is decent for beethoven so i think that's the one i would click I like, however, that, see, there's a lot of them. This one has a, a slightly better rating. Uh, it's a Dover. Yeah, this is a Dover edition. Dover is a cheap edition that's often really decent. So I would probably have a look at the Dover and the Bright Cop edition here for Beethoven. So you just click Complete Score. That's going to bring you to this page. If you're using an iPad, I believe it brings you to another page where, yeah, you see this thing here. This is totally free, by the way. You don't have to pay anything. And there's just a link on your iPad that says, basically, uh, I understand. Click here to continue to my download. And then you'll get to this page where it asks you to wait 15 seconds. Then you click on that, and that's it. It's going to ask you to um, save it and you'll at, you'll get the pdf or it's just going to open it in its location there isn't that great so that's it that's that's the one of the easiest way to find music immediately any composer that's dead schumann piano concerto schumann piano quintet beethoven sonatas everything uh maybe composers like um Kachaturian and bartok uh bartok there's some Bartok on this on there as well. I think Cacciatore and I couldn't find some things. Some more modern composers where the rights are not pub, totally public domain. You might have a hard time finding. Now, 
Good. You know how to use IMSLP now. You can find any music, really any music, where the composers are dead. You get the sheet music for free and play it. Uh, I'm just going to show you an easier way to search uh, from IMSLP. So this is really the quickest way to search, is use a search engine. Let's say we're looking for Beethoven for Elise. Okay, Beethoven for Elise. Or it doesn't matter what you're what you're looking for. Uh, for these, we should be able to find that. Okay, just write Beethoven. Oh, first write IMSLP in the search. Beethoven. All right, for Elise, and ninety nine point nine percent of the time, the first link at the top that is your boy. So here we go. Now remember, once again, these are performances, the ones in pink. That is not going to get you sheet music. And then here you go, sheet music. You can see this one looks kind of strange. There's notes, so skip that one. Again, a lot of the times the first one is not the best. It's the third one uh, uploaded by this user. So that's usually the one. Again, you just click complete score. That's it. It make you wait. 15 seconds, click there, and that's it. You have Beethoven for, for at ease. Uh, let's see, one other thing you can do using this resource. Let's uh, search for something that there's arrangements of. So let's say you were searching for this. Right, this Bach, Jesu Joy of Man's Desiring. Okay, again. That's not the real title of this. So IMSLP Bach Jesu Joy of Man's Design. Let's see what we get from our search engine here. Once again, the number one link. Ah, how nice. They're actually telling us here that it's not a separate work. That's one of the things I wanted to show you. It's part of a larger work called Herz und Mund und Tat und Leben. Okay, so let's click on that. This is a cantata. There's a chorale. There's, as you can see, uh, recordings and sheet music. Okay, again, holograph manuscript is the first one. We don't want that. So, uh, see, there's a lot of things in this cantata, right? We can't even find the thing. And as you can see, they're written for orchestra, not for piano. So now you can click this tab here below sheet music, arrangements and transcriptions, 74. That is a lot. So let's see here, selections number six and 10. Okay, this is part of the, of the cantata. Where is that? Jesu joy. Did I miss it? Am I missing this thing? See, it's a little harder to search for, for things like that. It's easier if you know exactly the cantata. So yeah, these are arrangements. Oh, see, you can see it's there. See, these are arrangements. Here's one for organ and trumpet. Okay, Jesu bleibet. That's, that's what it is in German. I'm sorry. Yeah, see, in English we say Jesu joy. It's Jesu bleibet. So when you see that, see, this is an aria. That's an, another part of this cantata. This is like searching for something more uh, complicated. But this is the one you're looking for if you're looking for for that piece. So this says for orchestra, okay. Here's one for chorus, strings, and organ. So you can find arrangements of some things for different ensembles. My, my mouse scrolling is, is not working well. Uh, there's another one, here's woodwind, brass, and percussion. Here's one for just strings. If you have a string ensemble, looking for, you probably already know about this then. And of course, we're looking for a very specific one. It's probably gonna be at the bottom. Here's one for four recorders. Here's, a, here's two violins, viola and cello. And is there gonna be a piano? Is there gonna be one? Oh, here's one for two pianos. See, how cool is that? For organ, there you go. You could probably play the organ one, but there might be pedals. 
And drum roll, <laughs> is there gonna be a piano one? Yes, we have not one, not two, but three. And this is the best one by Myra Hess. If you're just FYI, if you're playing this piece. Ah, uh, see, this is what you get on your iPad is a page that looks like this. And then, yeah, let me just, okay, we'll just download it and open it directly like that. Okay, this is an amazing transcription of this piece. About as complicated as it can be. You can see you'll have to roll all these things. It's written by a woman who was a, a really a famous pianist in the early 20th century, I believe, perhaps earlier, uh, long ago. And anyway, she wrote an arrangement for this piece. So I just wanted to show you that so you can see, whoops, so you can see that you can get uh, also arrangements to pieces on IMSOP. Good, now you know how to use IMSOP. Why are you still watching this video? Go download some of your favorite music and go play it. Take care guys, see you in the next one.